and says, how do you feel we treat homeless people in this country? I think in this country, I think we have to take a really long, hard look at the fact that if you introduce more people to a small country, the strain that that has, not just on the housing system, but the strain that that has on the hospital system, we, we can see that. But the elephant in the room is nobody wants to discuss it. And the problem is, too, if you're white person living in Ireland and you start to talk about this, immediately they'll shut you down. They'll say, that's racist. You can't say that. So, you know, the problem is we are basically as a nation, very generous, kind, compassionate people. And we do want to help people. And it's drummed into us from a very early age, you know, help do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And I think we need to, to, to take a big step back and look at what the services in Ireland are doing for Irish people. Okay. This country was built years ago on people who lived on cabbage and spuds for years. There was nothing here. And our ancestors who went and lived through that and made this country what it is today have now got to find themselves in a position where they're looking at their granddaughters and children and saying, well, why is my daughter having such a hard time getting a home? Why is my mother having such a difficult time getting a hospital why, place. Why do you think that is? I think it's because we're not prioritizing the fact that Irish people should be seen in a favor and more favorable light than somebody who's just come six months ago. Is that not desperately unfair? No, I don't think it is. I think it's very fair. Why? Since when did becoming Irish warrant you going to the back of a queue? Like what I saw was I spoke to some of the people in the housing office and I said, can you explain to me when a family comes to you from another country and you house them and you find somewhere for them to live? Why is that more of a priority than Irish people? Well, we've, we've just been talking about, about Brexit and, mm. and with all of that comes border control and, and much of the reason for some people why they voted for Brexit certainly was to in order to control the borders in Britain. Are you saying that we need to do the same thing here? We should have done the same thing long ago and if we don't do the same thing this country will be a, a disaster in 20 years time. You only have to look at the UK and see what's happened. The truth about Europe at the moment is it's being repopulated. The truth about Europe at the moment is it's being repopulated. And what they're starting to happen is even the most generous, kind, gentle, caring person starts to question it and starts to look and go, well, wait a minute, this system is not stacked in my favour, then it must be stacked Kevin, against me. I think people, <clears throat> you know, looking at you tonight, a <clears throat> black man who has <clears throat> spoken before about having his own racist experiences, people <clears throat> would be really surprised to hear you taking you that what? view. You know I think a lot of people, I was Irish a lot long, a lot earlier than I was black. I was Irish. I was Irish till I was twelve and a half. Until I saw a black person, then it was like, oh, whoa! And that's the thing is, like, I identified. I had, I won medals for Irish dancing. I loved Irish music. Irish culture is what made me who I am. This is, this is Ireland, and the people who live here and the people who built it should be looked after. In my opinion, first, my father was Nigerian. If that means that I get a little bit further down the list, that's okay. That's okay. My mother was Irish, but if you don't have a system that lets the Irish be looked after, then I think you're going to create huge problems.